What's up StarCraft fans, you are watching a co-op mutation, I am CTG and we're doing negative reinforcement on part and parcel. It is what I expect the next mutation to be because it is the next one on Blizzard's list of mutators. I am playing this time as Tychus. My masteries are Tychus Shredder Grenade Cooldown, Troy Outlaw Research Improvement, and Medivac Pickup Cooldown. Let's go into the replay and uh, select this one. My ally, our master, played as Alarak. So while we wait for the loading screen, a huge thank you to Zachary who was supporting me on the immobilization wave tier. Thank you to Neo Metal who was supporting me on the pulse cannon tier. And thank you to all my supporters on Patreon, your little gods tasteless. So uh, there are only two mutators here. Avenger, which makes the enemies stronger, and Fatal Attraction, which pulls our enemy or pulls our units to the location where we killed the enemy. So these are both mutators. These are both mutators that activate whenever we kill an enemy unit. So again, at the start of the game, the first order of business is always to make more workers. As I mentioned before, we need workers to harvest these resources to grow our army. Tychus is a different commander because when they say grow my army, it really doesn't make it a massive army or anything, it just adds more heroes or out more outlaws specifically. What Tychus spends his money on primarily is upgrades to make his units or to make his uh, outlaws stronger. You can see the enemy's Protoss. It's actually fine for Tychus. That's, that's actually fine for, for Alrak too. Alrak will uh, will be thankful that the that the enemy is not Zerg this time. Usually he's thankful that the enemy is Zerg because he has splash damage, but this time with Fatal Attraction, both of our armies will be thankful not to have so many of us pulling our dudes around. So once I finish these 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 refineries, I send uh, I send three workers to them to harvest them at optimal efficiency. We'll talk a little bit more. So talking a little bit more about the mutators, Avenger will uh, Avenger will buff the enemies whenever their comrades fall in battle. So when we kill, if there are ten ar if there are ten enemy units in a group, we kill one of them. One of the remaining nine will be stronger. If we kill five of them, the remaining five will be stronger. If we kill nine of them, the last one will be stronger. So it can stack up to ten times. So if remember in that one scenario, if there are eleven, if for example, if there are eleven units in an ar in an enemy army, and you kill the first, uh, you kill the first ten, the last one can be buffed ten times. So it'll be really strong. And there's an indicator for that by uh, by the last. Or the the remaining buff unit being really huge. That's how you can tell that uh, that's it has Avenger on. So I got Tychus and Rattlesnake out. Tychus is the first com is the first hero or the first outlaw. You get him for free, and you, I pay I pay a certain amount to get uh, to get Rattlesnake out. Rattlesnake has this ability called uh, Revitalizer. It will regen our health while we're in that circle, that green circle. And it's green, so it's awesome. <laughs> Our rock is out. He'll try to he'll try to deal damage to the uh, to the enemy bases. Whereas I'm getting the uh, the medevacs, the medevac platforms, the medevac platforms, will allow me to pick up uh, to pick up my heroes on the battlefield, and uh, basically get them out of trouble whenever I need to. It's basically my get out of jail free card. Like so, they just keep dealing damage to those, and there it is. Our are being so I'm still making workers, is about to murder us all. Get but yeah, I'm, I started my command center on my expansion, so that I can start gathering resources from here. Once that command center is done, I'll send my workers to this location and build refineries here so I can get more upgrades. Better 
So clear those out. So far I have two. I have two outlaws, Tychus and Rattlesnake, but I'll get more. But my first order of business before go before going there is to get my upgrades for Tychus and Rattlesnake. So that they'll be even stronger and, and harder to kill. You can see I use the pickup there to move myself around. It's really early into the game and I don't really need to spam the uh, the medevac platform yet. That means uh, I can use it around. I can use it right now to uh, move my move my dudes around while it's up. There's really no reason to uh, to not use the top bars if you have them, unless unless you are saving them for a particular thing. If you don't, if you're not saving your top bars for a particular thing, for a particular timing, and you know that uh, you know that the cooldown will only be available then if you save it. Don't save it. Just use them whenever whenever they are ready. So I use my pickup again. I don't need to. I don't need to use it for anything else. So I'm just using it right now to move to the front. I'm signaling to my ally that the second wave has the sentry. That means the enemy will be Robo. They'll they later on have Immortals and Colossus. I'm trying to stay in the circle, but it's uh yeah we're getting pulled around. So that's why I tend to put my uh, my revitalizers forward rather than backward. Send additional workers to my gas so I can get more gas for my upgrades. Meanwhile, I'm still making workers, of course, because it's really important that I spam my workers. This is General Davis reporting in. The is en route to I start the big red button research. This will allow Tychus to uh, get his nuke out. It's really good. There's no reason not to go for the nuke. Because uh, it's actually larger. The, nu the radius for Tychus' nuke is larger than the other commander's nukes. Like, uh, it's larger than Swan's Pulse Can, it's larger than Nova's nuke. And I can't imagine why some outlaws would have a larger nuke than the Dominion's finest. But it is what it is. I start another revitalizer there. Rattlesnake might need some uh, some extraction. There we go. So we pull them out on time. Another advantage of the uh, of the medevac pickup is that uh, if we get pulled t too much by the uh, by the final attraction, it's my get out of jail free card. So I'm getting more upgrades for my units, like so. Okay, there's a hybrid. This train has nearly escaped. So I'm Pay using attention. Rattlesnake to, to A move there. The train to A move to that location where, where whereas uh, I use Tychus to get vision get because the, the the Odin is now up. Or the Yeah, the Odin is now up. And like I said, there's no reason to really s to save your uh, to save your top bars unless you have a particular thing you're saving it for. So I just use the uh, the nuke over here to clear out some a bunch of stuff here. And I return to destroying the hybrid. Like so. My ally uses overcharge to defend that to defend that wave. There we go. I picked up my army over there and finished off that last immortal. There we go. The pressure's on. We have just a few moments left to kill Get more upgrades for Tychus, so that he'll the be even stronger. Took significant damage in that encounter. I'm gonna need more parts. We're getting down to the wire. Make every minute count. There we go. Use a grenade there. Destroy those uh, to destroy those derps. And use another vitalizer to help me uh, regenerate oh, my my health. Attacked. Just put more vitalizers down. The more I get pulled, I mean that's where I want to go anyway. <laughs> Might as well. I like how it's stutter stepping for me. The uh, the fatal attraction is stutter stepping for me. So I now get my third outlaw, uh, C James Cyrus Sykes, who is a, who is a warhound. 
in this Warhound either. His ability is to deploy these uh, these Warhound turrets. They're basically extra turrets for us. The nice thing about these turrets is that they don't get pulled by fatal attraction, so that they just keep shooting. That's why I that's why I like those uh, those turrets for this mutation. Here we go. Use those turrets to take out the buildings, and now let's take out this army over here. I use a revitalizer so I can regen health. My weakest warriors have been cut. Ooh. Anyway, start another vitals over there. I, I temporarily run Rattlesnake back so I can regen his health. Get more upgrades for Sirius. Destroy that immortal, or that Archon rather. Throw the grenade. You can see I am getting pulled by the Fatal Attraction. <laughs> Every time I kill an enemy, an enemy unit, our our, our, our army gets pulled toward that enemy rate. unit's location. Oh boy, it's a lot of stuff. I use the pickup to uh, pull them. So it's uh, not going my way right now. Those immortals hit really hard and whenever we kill anything our, our army gets pulled to that location so yeah we need to reinforce. So I'm starting my uh, I'm starting my I call it Ghost Academy. The Fixer Safe House, so I can uh, summon another another outlaw to the battlefield. I'm trying to get uh, Vega here because Vega has mind control. This uh, this enemy composition in particular hits hard, so I want to steal some of their units to make them uh, deal des deal less damage. I'm trying to use Tychus to uh, bait the enemy away from my base, but doesn't work. They're still here. At the very least, I'm able to draw some of them away. Oh, That's something. As you can see, my workers are getting pulled. My fatal attraction is not good. There we go, finished off that wave. There's something annoying about this, this wave. It's going back for some reason. Anyway, I'm able to uh, get my army back out. My army, my quote-unquote army. More like a band of... Uh, a band of evil dudes. <laughs> so I use the Odin there to cut out this uh, this base. I'm still waiting for the perfect time to use the big red button. Try to see where I can use it. See if I can defend this wave, which turns out to be just two scouts. So it's not much. I mean, I can destroy them. But immediately pull out. I need to use somewhere. I need to use somewhere. I need to use my nuke somewhere where I'll do more damage. So just look this location. See how many I took out there. Companies coming to our base, and they do not Drop an army here. Happy. Take care of that scout. You can see, fatal attraction pulled all my workers away. So I'll just send them back to work. It, hap it happens, so I just need to uh, send my workers back. For the Can't really do anything about it. I got my fourth outlaw, Vega. She will allow me to mind control the enemy. So I'm trying to get upgrades for her. For the meantime, but as you can see, I'm, I'm constricted by mineral income. So I'll just wait for enough minerals before I can get the last, uh, the last upgrade for Vega. We have a last Vega. Let's get these uh, these parts to buy us more time and to, uh, to help power up the Balius. Get those and go toward the. Oh yeah, we forgot we forgot some parts here, so that we so we're gonna pick up those. There we go. Sending my army forward. There we go. I think I got the last upgrade for uh, for Vega. I'm trying to look for I'm trying to look for a good target to mind control, but it's not presented itself so far. There's the Balius. Let's see if there are units here that we can that we can mind control. Some results, not really not really anything good. I 
I'm, I'm looking for a Colossus, or I'm looking for a Colossus, or a, or a Reaver, or a Carry even, if I can manage. But it doesn't look like I'll, I'll be getting it. Oh, this is bad. This is bad news for me. Ally went over here and destroyed all the carriers here. There are carriers here, which would have been great for Vega, but my ally was uh, a bit overzealous and destroyed all of them before I could get to it. It's uh, not good for me. The whole reason I got Vega is to mind control the enemy's strong units, and uh, with that, I'll have fewer units available to mind control. There's another hybrid over here, so we can take it down. There we go. So I got my last outlaw, Cannonball. He'll be able to deal. Uh, he'll be able to tank for our forces, really. Whenever he gets pulled, uh, he has this ability, heavy impact, and he'll be able to stun the enemy. As you can see, I did my control. I was able to my control some of the Colossus, but. They quickly fall. They quickly fall. Uh, my control is not turning out to be as great as I hoped it would be. There we go. We are taking out these uh, these def these uh, attack this attack wave. But uh, Vega unfortunately fell uh, without doing much damage. I mean, I did control. I did my control two of the Coloss, so it took those two out of the wave. But they didn't really help out that much for me. So I'm thinking maybe Vega isn't the best choice here. Anyway, I can't really, once I've picked a, uh, an outlaw, I can't really take it back. So, might as well use whatever I have to keep, uh, to keep uh, going forward. For me. To me. Alright, so I, uh, I pulled my army back, but I sent Tychus forward. We're down and then, to the call down the Odin to nuke this location. That'll deal massive damage and clear out a bunch of a bunch of the buildings for me. There we go. Let's collect these parts. Might control these uh, these units. Just so I can deal more damage. Use the revitalizers. Drop a uh, a warhound war war turret so I can deal more damage consistently. Like so. There we go. So I still have a mortal left over, so that's nice. <laughs> Our allies are being attacked. So I clear out these last uh pull back. Oh there's some use there the the what they want to mind control. Oh, I did get the Colossus, but that's fine, I got a void ray out of it. Our allies Hostile forces are zeroing in on our base. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, my, my mind control is still on cooldown. I wasn't able to quite get that Colossus. Oh, here comes another attack wave. Right on top of my army. As I'm, as I'm retreating. So where will I drop them? Yeah, I need to buy myself more time. Ready for action. I'm approaching the hybrid's containment cell. So I'm uh, about to intercept this attack wave. With my army. Let's try to see... Yeah, as you can see, I'm getting pulled so hard that uh, I did my control another Colossus over there, but it's not doing much. For me. It gets killed as soon as it, as soon as it's, uh, as soon as it gets over to my control. As you can see, Avenger is really making those Immortals hard to kill because they hit so hard, and with the Avenger buff, they get even stronger, so it's even harder to kill them. <laughs> Unacceptable. And the worst part is, my army, my army can't really deal with it because they, they keep getting pulled. I, I, can't, I can't actually use my abilities. You see, <laughs> as you can see, this, this huge, these, these huge immortals are dealing so much damage to my army. My ally is doing, my ally is doing better by uh, taking those out using his ascendants. But a bit too late. I'll have to... I'll have to... Uh, Rebuild my army. So far, I only have Tychus, a uh, rattlesnake, and a void ray as my army. I'm remaking Vega. There we go. Vega's back. Right. Get on the ship. 
use the uh, use a medevac to pick her forward, but apparently my, my ally might have cleared out this whole area, so there's nothing for me to mind control. So unfortunate. My ally's being... Oh, I mean, that, it's good that my ally's being zealous, but he's leaving nothing for me to mind control. An enemy attack. Which is uh, really just unfortunate. We're still taking out. Uh, we're actually, just focusing down the hybrid, trying to deal as much as much damage as we can. Well, actually, doing really well, really well with this, with this sentence. I get rattlesnake here, or yeah. I get uh, I get serious here. Why so serious? <laughs> yeah, I get I get the. Uh, I use all my all my medevac pickups to bring my heroes to the front deal as much damage as I can and there it is finally we're able to take it down this is pretty annoying for Tychus especially with the choice of heroes I went for they're not bad the heroes I went for are not bad it's just that uh, the unfortunate the unfortunate circumstance of my ally uh, destroying destroying all my potential mind control things is uh, yeah it's just unfortunate anyway Hope you enjoyed that, thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else you can do, please leave that in the comment. And uh, let's see the score screen. By the way, if you, want, if you want to help support the channel... If you want, if you want to help support the channel... Uh, Patreon link will be on the top right. Over there. And uh, as you can see, I killed slightly more, even with, uh, even with all the unfortunate choices uh, that happened in the game. I still had slightly more kills than my ally. It's not great, but... It's something. Alright, see you.